Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Milgat Farms, Virginia's only organic maple syrup producer. And we do a lot of things on the farm, one of which is make hay. And this is the time of the year that we do it. Uh, we've already cut the hay with our disc bind. We've tedded the hay with our tedder. And now we're going to rake that hay and put it into rows so we can bale it later today. So right now we're going to talk about raking. Um, raking is pretty simple. I'm going to show you our rake here in just a minute. But first, if you guys like what you're seeing, consider giving us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. If you ever want to come out and visit our farm, it's millgapfarms.com. Uh, we're located in the western part of Virginia. We have two B&Bs. Love to have you come out here and spend the day. So in doing this video, guys, I forgot to do an intro. So we're going to show you what the rake looks like off the tractor. Um, here where I keep it stored, which is uh, well behind the barn, out of out of sight, uh, up in, it's not really the woods per se, but it is a wooded area. I can't say it protects anything, but this is where I keep it. So here, check it out. Guys, this is a eight wheel frontier rake. Uh, there's four wheels on each side. You can see them right there. In the middle is a hydraulic cylinder. And with the linkage, it will, fold this thing up so it can go through a gate very, very easily. Um, and it's pretty cool. It only has one hydraulic line. Uh, and that means that you can raise it up and then gravity takes over and, and the arms come back down. So when you're gonna go through a gate or you're gonna go uh, on the road, you certainly can't leave the thing open. And so what you end up doing is you end up folding it up and your hydraulics will keep it up long enough to get through a gate or wherever you wanna go. But if you're going to travel any distance with it, you're going to put some pins in it and lock it in place. That way you have no, no problem whatsoever of it potentially coming out. And you can see the wheels are pretty cool. I'm not sure if you can replace the, I have the little metal pieces on it, the fingers. Um, you might be able to replace it. A lot of times it's almost cheaper just to replace the whole wheel than it is to, to replace maybe one or two of those things. But I haven't broken them bad enough uh, where I've had to replace them. I, I have hooked some fences, that's for sure, but I haven't broke them to that point. Here on my, on this particular rake, well, um, there's several grease points, and I, I always grease it at the end of the season, so, so I'm ready for the next season. Um, I'll probably grease this thing later in the week so that we can be ready for the next cutting if we get one. Because here on our farm, we don't always get a second cutting. So guys, one of the things I really like about this rake is the tongue jack. It's so smooth and beefy. I don't know why it has to be that beefy, but they really did a good job and I like it. So you can see right here, you guys can see right here, that's where it's gonna pivot up. So because of that linkage you see there, right in the middle. So because of that linkage you see there, the entire rake is gonna fold up on itself. And then off you go, you go somewhere else. I think these things are fairly inexpensive. Um, not terribly hard to fix. I've had to fix it a couple of times with some broken bolts. And every now and again, pump up a tire. But you know, that's pretty much it. Can't say they're bulletproof, but certainly these are pretty hardy. And I really like it. Guys, one of the things I might do in the future is get a little bit larger rake so I can grab some more of the hay and have less wind rows and that means less time around the pasture with the baler but i gotta tell you for right now this thing works really well and unless i come across a great deal i'm gonna stick with this one for a while this is not a pto driven tool so what happens when this rake is down and you you'll see it in just a minute what this thing will do guys is it will it will hit the ground or fall on the ground and the wheels will start rolling. And then that natural V action or the V that this thing creates allows the hay to be pulled into the center, creating a wind row that my baler can pick up. And we can adjust the rake's width of that wind row. You can't really adjust the height of it. It's a matter of grabbing the hay, but we can adjust the width a little bit. Um, we used to have a really small baler and the pickup on it was tiny. And so we had to make this thing super, super tight. Uh, we still we still keep it kind of tight, um, but we want to we really want it to go as wide as possible to get as much grass in there or much hay in there as we can.
Guys, thanks for taking time out of your day to watch our videos. We really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, I just stepped on a thistle. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. oh golly, that hurt. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, okay, I'm gonna clear my area. I don't see any thistles. I just walked through one. I just walked through a patch of thistles. I was not paying attention. Oh, now my, my knees are all prickly. We, we really appreciate guys watching our videos. We hope you're enjoying them. Um, consider giving us that thumbs up. And you know, if you ever wanna come out and visit, go to millgapfarms.com. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. Check this out. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? That's the gap. Or, you know, it's so beautiful here. We, guys, we'd love to have you come out and spend the day. Enjoy just, you know, relaxing on the farm. Uh, we don't have cell reception in our area. Uh, internet, we don't have internet at our B&B. Um, we do have it in the, in the sugar barn if you have, have to absolutely have it. But if you don't, you know, do that digital detox, come on out and enjoy this beautiful weather. It's the middle of June, guys, and it was 44 degrees this morning. That is chilly. Oh my gosh, I love it. When we get that kind of weather, it just reminds us that we've got to get the firewood ready. And that's what we're going to be doing the rest of the month is getting that firewood stacked up and ready so that we are all prepared for the winter. Again, thanks for watching our videos. We hope you guys are enjoying them. Until next time, guys, God bless you.